welcome back to the second part of the Sky High Auctions mini-series on how to boost your online auction profits by 200% or more. In the last video, we looked at the four main factors that make up profit in your online auction business. Just to refresh your memory, there are leads, multiplied by conversion rates, multiplied by margins, multiplied by the average number of transactions that each customer makes with you. We also saw how a small increase in each one of these can have a dramatic effect on your overall profit. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on the first part of the four fundamentals of profit. How to increase your leads. As a reminder, the number of leads that you have is the number of different people who visit your auction listings. Here's some great ways of getting more eyeballs, that is, leads, on your online auction listings. Keyword research. Keyword research means finding what keywords people use to search for your item and including them in your title and descriptions. This is absolutely critical to the success of any listings and something we'll be discussing in a lot more detail inside Sky High Auctions. Lost leading products. Loss leaders are items that you sell at a discounted price in order to bring more traffic to your eBay stores or your other listings. Choosing the right closing time for your auction to close. That's right, the time of the day your auction ends can have a big impact on how many people see your listing, as many people will only look at auctions about to close. Forming joint ventures with other power sellers. You don't have to go at it alone. If you have friends who sell on eBay or you get to know other power sellers on eBay's power seller forum, then why not create a group to share ideas and promote each other's listings? Experiment with the lengths of time that your auction runs. Some products, particularly high price ones, tend to gain higher bids by listing for longer periods of time. This is because the longer the auction is up, the more people will see it. Other items that sell faster are probably better set to shorter lengths, such as one or three days. That way you'll get into the bidding frenzy at the expiration time a lot faster. You need to test these options and monitor your results so that you find out how people want to buy. You must always let the market decide how you sell. Creating a website outside of eBay. This gives you greater marketing freedom and means you can use SEO and pay-per-click campaigns to drive more visitors to your products for sale. Including great photos. It's a fact. The better your photos are and the more you have, the better the price you'll get for your item. We don't have time to look at all these methods in detail during this mini course, but we will take a look at the top three of them. Also remember that the full Sky High Auctions course contains over 20 hours of amazing step-by-step -step videos which cover all these tips in detail, including written versions of each video, plus interviews with the top eBay power sellers who share their secrets. Let's start with how keyword research can help you increase your leads. The easiest way to research top performing keywords is to use the eBay's Marketplace Research Tool, plus other online keyword research tools, such as www.freekeywords.wordtracker.com. These will help you find out what people are actually searching for. This research will help you in two ways. A. It will give you a strong idea of what items you should be selling, that is, what is in demand. B. You'll find out what keywords you must include in your auction titles to best match the searches your buyers are using. For instance, if you sell women's shoes, then you should search for the names of the shoe brands that you stock by typing them into the word tracker, eBay's marketplace research, and any other keyword tools you might be using. This will give you the information on how many people search for each one of those brands, and what other words and phrases they use to find these brands. Some of what you find may surprise you. For instance, you may find from your keyword research that there is a lot of women looking for plus size shoes or for a particular brand that you don't stock. If you don't have the right keywords in your title and lots of people are searching for them, then there is a strong chance that when someone searches for your item, it won't be displayed in the search results. The second strategy we'll look at in this video is loss leaders. Loss leading products can help you increase your leads by driving traffic from a few products you are selling very cheaply through the rest of the items that you have for sale. Let's say Mr. Smith has an eBay store selling hockey equipment. It's coming near to the end of the season and Mr. Smith is desperate to sell off as much stock as he can to make way for the new season's arrivals. So he decides to increase traffic to his store by listing a few $1 auctions for a couple of highly sought after hockey stick brand names. He knows that he may well lose money on the hockey sticks but he expects that the profit he gets from the additional traffic flow to his eBay store from the listings will increase his profits enough to make it worthwhile. 
Mr. Smith is using the loss leader tactic. This is an excellent way of increasing your leads, but before you try it, make sure your store or other listings are well prepared to take full advantage of the additional traffic. And don't forget to please check out my other listings for etc. etc. at the bottom of your loss leader auctions. The final lead increase strategy for this video is auction closing time. One of the best things you can do to increase the number of leads to your auctions is to make sure that your listings are closing at peak traffic times. For example, if you are selling cookware or homewares, you probably don't want to end your auctions between 3 and 3.30 p.m. when mothers will be out picking up their children from school, and many of your other customers may well be at work. Sunday and Monday evenings are generally the busiest times on eBay. You can find out more about eBay's weekly traffic flows by reading the eBay Buyer Behavior Report at pages.ebay.com forward slash seller central forward slash buyers dot pdf so there you have three great ways to increase your leads through keyword research loss leaders and auction closing time i hope that you've enjoyed this video don't forget that we'll be discussing all these things and much more in the full sky high auctions course remember to download the pdf transcript of this video to keep by your side while you get started on ebay I look forward to catching you next time when we will be looking at ways to increase your conversion rates.